Welcome back to some casual geographic. Damn, yo, my breath is really hot. <laughs> Shut your stupid. Oh uh, yeah, it's been months since oh, we yeah. reacted to him. I've been keeping up to date. We just haven't really reacted. That's all. But yeah, you guys wanted us to react to some more casual geographic. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Why America's most hated animal is underrated? But now my okay. question is this though. How is it the most hated, but it's underrated? Like, yes, how does mad people hate on it? But it's underrated. But it's underrated. It, it should, should be, be known overrated. and over it. Yeah. So I don't how, know. I, I don't know. I don't know. So you can see we're wearing uh, sweaters oh. from our past videos like the video right before this one We're wearing just shirts. Yeah, cuz it's it was hot bro. New York literally went from 80 degree weather boom 50 degrees yeah. like crazy in one wind. day bro yesterday the wind almost smoked me bro cuz I ordered food and then and you open the door you're like, oh. Yeah, I went I flew out the door. I was like, God damn. And the nigga that was doing the food, he was like, Yeah, it's mad windy outside. <laughs> yeah, I felt weird because I actually went to the gym with like sweats and a yeah. sweater. I was yeah. like, bro, it's, it's been one day, 24 hours past. Yeah. And it's just cold. But anyways, shout out to Castle Geographic. Link to the original video down below. Go check it out. Show some love. That's it, let's go. Yo? Is that an eagle? With a man? Nah, that's or not, that that's not like a person. It gotta be like a TikTok like sound effect or something. Song. Oh my god! What is What's that? the most underrated animal? See, now that's almost a trick question because of the very definition of underrated. Because if everyone agrees that this one thing is underrated, then, well, it's it's really not that underrated. Yeah. yeah. Underrated. Same thing if I ask you what animal's overhated. Because again, if a majority of people can agree that one specific animal gets too much hate, then guess who suddenly isn't that overhated? And that applies to animals I can guarantee you've already thought of. Like, I'll bet at least one person thought sharks. sharks. Well, actually, sharks have gotten pretty good PR over the years. Of course. Mostly because we realize we murk hundreds of millions of them a year. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. Dolphins that. started Dolphins smoke too, was yeah. previously reserved for sharks. And believe it or not, gorillas used to get that same type of smoke, too. Uh -huh. Thanks to King Kong, there was a time where people saw our vegan bodybuilding cousins as violent, malicious hell spots. Uh, Basically, bro, we yeah, they him. just be eating, like, grass or whatever. Yeah. And look at them, bro. They can bench yeah. cores, yeah. man. I mean, yeah. not literally. I, I don't know. No, they're strong as yeah, no, they mad strong. mad strong. Like, it's crazy. Thought gorillas were. It took a kid falling into a gorilla pen and, you know, not yeah. dying for public perception to change. I'm talking about Binti, by the way. Harambe, that's oh. a, that's another story. Oh. But I speaking was... of PR, maybe nobody's has gotten more of a 180 than the wolf. Mm. An animal that was once so feared and loathed that people did everything in their power to keep wolves from breathing U.S. oxygen. Damn, It wasn't what? until we realized, one, we kind of need wolves, and two, wolves are actually terrified of people for us to change how we felt about them. So really, none of these animals can be called the most overhated. Mm -hmm. For an animal to be truly overhated, consequentially, most of you would have to dislike it enough to disagree that it gets too much hate in the first place. Right. Which is why this isn't a shark, gorilla, or even a wolf video. But before I tell you what it is, you we recently just passed the two-year anniversary of this channel that, again, pretty much Damn. started by accident. So in the accident. spirit of change and new beginnings and all that... That's fine. I respect it. Yo, he kind of odd. Come on. He is. F***ing room now. Yeah, this is life now. Anyway, for an animal to be yeah, true, man be here. It's not oh, well, I just realized what? more quality, right? And now yeah, the video is actually fits the screen. Yeah, yeah, he upgraded. You hey, can tell. Two, how many subscribers? He's got that low ass mic, though. He do. <laughs> two million subscribers later, he hey. said, "Let me switch it up." Hey, bro. Hey, they say, uh, if, if it ain't broke, broke, don't fix yeah. it. Yeah. So, I mean, you probably didn't even have to fix it, but oh, we, we like it. With the fact that almost any like it, pulse is born instinctively hating coyotes, that puts them here. Hmm. If there's one thing you learn in this video, it's that no other animal gets treated more like nature's stepchild than a coyote. A red-haired middle child at that. And while the human wolf arc has actually gone in a positive direction, people seem to hate their cousins as much, if not more, than they did 100 years ago. First, let's talk about what coyotes are. The key difference between a coyote and a wolf is that coyotes wear the face of someone who's seen everything life has to offer and was impressed by none of it. I've never seen an animal look so done with life. Well, except for this guy. Damn! He said that wolves are everything coyotes are, but better. That wasn't exactly true. Cause while oh my god, did you see people, that? Bro, look at that wolf, yeah. boy. That shit look tough, though. I ain't gonna that lie. That looks so crazy. If I had that mother in my backyard, nobody pulling up. I'm not even pulling up. <laughs> I'm like, you come over here. I'm not going over there. I ain't picking you up, boy. What? Crazy. Everything coyotes are, but better. That wasn't exactly true. 
Because while wolves usually outcompete coyotes and straight up bully them when they're in the same area code, <laughs> coyotes make up ground by being way more adaptable. What the? That's actually what helped turn the wolf's image around. Because the absence of wolves meant coyotes were able to run around unchecked and unhinged. And thanks to a diet that consists of literally anything that isn't nailed down, no, seriously, if it fits on a coyote's throat, they're gonna eat it. The coyotes fuck? were able to succeed almost as well in the city as they did in the prairie. That's you can find a coyote in 49 states, and if there was a Hawaiian border, they'd probably go 50 for 50. Being uh -huh. able to make a meal plan out of all so sad, while also man. being clever enough to avoid humans is why coyotes, unlike wolves, were able to succeed in urban areas the way most predators couldn't. Hmm. They're basically travel-sized wolves that identify as raccoons. Damn, oh my god! you stand on American soil, you're standing closer to a coyote than you might want to admit. For example, there's about 30,000 wily seasoned across New York, and chances are you have- Why New York? It's almost like they all have NordVPN. What Nord the- VPN What the- Nah! Switch location! Nah! That fucking yeah. sponsorship segue um, is crazy! That was good, that was good. That shit was so crazy, bro. That shit was good. <laughs> hey, bro, but, that was a good-ass segue. I like that. Yeah, top, a huge discount available only for a limited time. A do discount that. Do that. an additional four months free off a two-year plan. Mm -hmm. And with NordVPN's money-back guarantee, it's basically risk-free. You wanna know what isn't risk-free? Well, if you're a coyote, breathing. Wow. protection would actually be a pretty huge buff to them because long story short anything that's in constant contact with a coyote is either taught or born hating them <laughs> you're probably familiar with the wolf raven relationship here's how coyotes fit into that so wolves have no love and no patience for coyotes mostly because the latter will try to steal food from them right under their nose Damn. which often gets the coyote put on the shirt on sight Damn. Oh. Now, ravens and coyotes often compete for the wolves leftovers but because ravens are also one of the smartest things in the world with wings, they'll often snitch on thieving coyotes yes. over to their wolf backup. What? Yeah, the yeah bro. The they don't play. Like, if you smoke with a raven, they will call it pack. They gonna say word back. I'm coming right back, and they gonna smoke you with their pack. Yeah, but he, but the raven snitching on the wolf. Like he's he's going. He, oh, he wants to get the wolf. Oh, 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 yeah. That's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. I thought he was gonna call his hands. Now, how do animals do that? How does the raven tell the wolf like, yo, this man eating your food? <laughs> Nigga, you would think how the fuck they speak the same language? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Touch, touch is real. <laughs> How does he They'll often snitch on thieving coyotes over to their wolf backup. See, and because why stop there? Oftentimes, while the coyote is actively running for its life, the raven will fly right above it to show the wolves which direction to run it. Nah! Helicopter during a high school. That's a message. That's a UAV. That's a message. Coyote to kill on the oh my God! No way! An airborne black air force put a real life hit on you isn't where it ends for them. Believe it or not, the very symbol of our country is really just an overgrown glorified seagull with the vocal cords. The seagull? And as scavengers, that puts the alopecia pigeon often in direct competition with the wolf's understudy. Oh, shit. Not only will bald eagles crazy. attempt to bully coyotes away from food, if you're lucky, you'll even see them snatch the food right out of the Oh, shit! Now, me personally, Something that you can't do nothing about that. Wings and a couple billion years of evolution away from doing. I would not It that doesn't happen. stop there. <laughs> Bears will often unsubscribe coyotes from alive before they get the chance to finesse them for food. Oh, shit. Cougars do the exact same, except unlike bears, they'll often go out of their way to eat the coyote. Oh my Once God. in a while, a coyote will make the mistake of stopping for a drink, only to get game overed by a gator. Even nah. raccoons find a way to get their licks in. As mob what? raccoons have been known to attack and jump single lone coyotes. That's why oh it's never God, a good idea to something born with its own ski mask. Donkeys come into the world with a raging hate bone for anything that even looks coyote in the face. Oh, I thought, Which that's is a, why not oh, only will donkeys unregister coyotes from life, they'll also thrash and ragdoll the coyote's soul divorce corpse like a toy. Nah, why donkeys doing them I, like I'm that? I'm not gonna lie, I have never seen a donkey do some, some vicious. Yeah, I Every donkey seen... video or picture I see, they just chilling. Oh, God. I don't see them trying to smoke another animal. Yo, coyotes are really hated, bro. What? What? The... Discrimination even applies to the big bird of South America. Like the donkey, the yeah. raya has an internal prejudice for the entire canine family, and that extends to coyotes. Coyotes aren't usually found in South America, meaning coyotes manage to succeed in being hated by an animal that hasn't even met them yet. Huh. And as for humans, well, like I said, Americans hate coyotes more than the metric system. God. You don't have to see a coyote, you don't even have to live near one. All you have to be is a kid with cable on a Saturday morning to watch a coyote get curb stomped by life. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really spend 70 years getting nated on by a bird that really should have been light work in the first place. Oh my God. Like, if it fun. wasn't for one animal, coyotes would really be out here with no friends. 
Coyotes and badges are nature's unlikely duo. Oh, nah. Unlikely really? since badges should probably hate coyotes just as much as everyone else, since coyotes have a history of sometimes attacking and eating badgers. Oh With my. badgers being a possible threat to coyote pups, the feelings should be. <laughs> He's a comeback! They managed to put all that aside when they hunt together. Since badgers can dig faster than any mammal, including a grown man with a shovel, they're able to flush out animals like ground squirrels and prairie dogs out of their burrows. Mm. Trying to hightail it on land puts them on schedule to get run down by the wily coyote. The Coyote Badger team up is so OP that they're actually three times more successful when they go out on hunts together. Damn! Everyone wow. wins, except the squirrels. Ooh. But like wolves and ravens, this isn't just a business relationship. Scientists have seen coyotes and badgers playing with each other and the wrestling fuck? together, even when food wasn't involved. Isn't coyotes that cool? Seen that playing is with their cool. badger friends, like, picking them. Bro, animals playing together. Like, how do they communicate to uh, one hunt together, and then? Oh, I don't know. This bro. is so fascinating. But why know. we stop reacting to this? Ah, we got so much stuff to react. You probably just forgot in the back of my head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, you kind of dummy, but <laughs> yeah, this is this is like <laughs> made my day. You know, right. badgers tolerance is their love language, and it makes sense since coyotes and badgers apparently go way back. Way back as in researchers found a Mexican jar believed to be from the 1300s that showed a drawing of the two animals together. Oh, wow. It's one of the truly wholesome friendships in nature. Just like Kevin and his wife. Oh my god, nah, they like funny though. Yeah. But I never mentioned that that's actually the coyote's play bow. It's usually something you'll only see them do with other coyotes, but occasionally you'll see them do it with other animals. Either way, that's what it looks like when an extrovert adopts an intro. Oh, I saw this video. That's kind of where the positivity oh. ends. Because like I said, coyotes are the true plumbers of nature. They have to take every Wow. Now, coyote carnage peeks out at us. Look, you could probably tell that I'd have a soft spot for coyotes, but I'm also self-aware enough to realize that if I had a cat or a small dog in coyote country, my feelings would probably be different. Oh, I actually forget pets. If I had a sleep schedule worth defending and I lived near this, <laughs> oh, oh nah, sound like uh, like hyenas too. Yeah, hyenas be laughing. What the hell? Oh shit, Jaguar. Yeah, it would be on site the moment I'd have to hear that at 3 a.m. <laughs> Other than being menaces to pets, a lot of people hate coyotes because they see them as an EDP level threat to children. What? Not only yep. that, but if you're a farmer and don't have coyote insurance, I have to assume you'd also sleep with your life savings under your mattress like Mr. Krabs. Uh, also, it probably doesn't help that they're the reason why Spider-Man doesn't have to be involved for Uncle Ben to still catch the wrong end of the fate. But you want to know where a lot of the coyote hate came from? Seriously, you'll never guess it. Not with a thousand tries. Hmm. Mark Twain. I don't know what? what kind of childhood he had, but something clearly happened to make him hate coyotes as if one took his mother. Hmm. Mark Twain in 1872 described coyotes as sorry-looking skeletons with gray wolf skin stretched over it, with a tail that forever sags with a despairing expression of misery. Man's really used his understanding of the English language to dunk on a lower mammal. Hmm. Even called coyotes so disgusting that oh even God. fleas would dub them. He needs hell. called it a lowly coward with teeth so jacked up that the rest of its face is constantly apologizing for it. One of the biggest mysteries in nature is what one coyote had to do to make Mark Twain invest so much time and malice slandering them. Like, I've never seen a human being so personally offended by the existence of an animal. And if Twain was around today, he'd probably post an exposed video about them. And that would be after canceling them on Twitter. But his coyote hit piece got so much clout that it actually played a big part in the reason a lot of people wanted to feet like that. From the prairie, from America, from life <laughs> itself, we basically <laughs> saw an actual prairie dog. <laughs> Except there was just one issue with this. Coyotes are canine cockroaches. They refuse to be killed. Seriously, mm. it's impossible, and we've tried. Oh, really? Like, Australia gets a lot of grief for losing a war with a great value ostrich, but we've been getting got by a dollar store dingo for the longest. <laughs> but somehow, getting their lunch money taken by wolves constantly for generations taught the coyotes how to cope. In areas where coyotes are healthy, Aww, hunting, they'll you. just have more coyotes. Usually, coyotes come out by the half dozen, but in areas where hunters have the green light, they can have litters of up to 12. Yeah. Yeah. Regular have dog. a specific roll yeah. call for this exact reason. A female coyote will call out as a way to see how many coyotes are in the area. Okay. It's like their version of a verbal census. Well, if the female doesn't hear a lot of coyotes in response, that'll trigger something in her body to produce more pups. In one huh? case in Utah, a rancher turned a female coyote into a widow. What did she do? Well, she left the area, found a male, brought him back, and continued making more coyotes. When it comes to coyotes, understand that one minus one equals one. The harder we try to birth them, the harder they work to birth them. No matter how much everything in nature wants them dead, coyotes will still be out here like, You can't get rid of Wow. <laughs> Mother nature's... Control. That's why coyotes get no so love. fascinating, And bro. that's where coyotes get their get back on wolves. Because where wolves will often outcompete them in the same area, coyotes are that much more adaptable. Mm. And as much as people like to say they hate them, we're actually the biggest reasons why coyotes were able to take their act across every state that isn't an island. When we wiped out wolves to the point where we had to physically bring them back, coyotes took the opportunity to turn the United States into its playground. Mm. Of like course, the because there's nobody to eat They were able to survive and thrive in urban environments. Mostly because, like I said, they will eat literally anything. 
You can have a garden with apples, pears, and peaches and still suffer coyote casualties. Damn. You can leave cat food out for your pet, not realizing you're contributing to a coyote's calories. And as are the rules they in nature, their... when you can eat <laughs> anything, you can live anywhere. Especially because of another fact. Wolves often rely on pack structure to survive. It's the reason why you'll almost never see a Being healthy adult raven, over the yeah. wild by itself. Coyotes can run through life solo or in pairs, making it that much easier for them to fly under the radar. Speaking of pairs, coyotes are monogamous. They very much mate for life. As in a coyote will find another coyote and decide that's its life now. Mother and father coyote will Yo, go go okay. You can drop the pot. <laughs> As in a coyote will find another coyote and decide that's its life now. Mother and father coyote will even go grocery shopping together because that increases their hunting success rate. And here's where they might just win you over. So a lot of their meal prep involves stealing from much bigger, much more dangerous animals like bears or wolves. So oftentimes, it's actually the male coyote that'll go and scope out a possible bounty while the female waits off in the distance. If worse comes to worse and the male coyote gets relieved from yeah. life, the female coyote still has a chance to get away. Oh my even though God. his kids have less of a chance of surviving without their father, it's better than the 0% it would have been if both parents got packed up. But the best dog father out there would probably be the golden jackal. While they're mm. not the same, let's be honest, coyotes and jackals are like the metric system in whatever America. Americans use. If you call yourself an American, you probably call it a coyote. If you live literally anywhere else, it's probably a jackal. They look coyotes similar. and jackals yeah, pretty much similar. have the same roles in society. And just like coyotes, golden jackals mate for life and the male will dig a den for his pregnant female, which he will defend with his life. Hmm. Golden jackal couples also hunt together and they're three times more successful when they do. The father jackal's so devoted that if something ever happened to him, chances are his kids wouldn't pull through with just a single mother working alone. Damn. Coyotes are just as ride or die. Not only are they loyal partners, but female coyotes that don't have kids of their own during pupping season will often help their sisters or mothers raise their children. Hmm. Coyote aunties are very much a thing, oh. and it means a world of a difference to the coyote pups. Speaking of kids, we gotta address the elephant in the room. And that elephant would be the coy wolf. The fuck is that? Oh, now what's going on? Like. You ever hear the expression, F the ops? Yeah, yeah, wolves took that at its word. And like almost everything else, this one's on us too. Because while we were out here murking wolves like they owed us oil, the ones that did survive were low on options. Mm -hmm. And I guess if you squint hard enough at a coyote, it starts to look like a wolf. I like how out of context that sounded deep and profound, but really, we're just talking about coyotes and wolves coitusing. To the point where the northeastern coyote is actually a hybrid that's 60% western coyote, 30% eastern wolf, and about 10% domestic dog, which I can't fully explain. The problem is, coy wolves are Whoa. bigger than the typical western coyote, while also not being as people shy as the typical wolf. One thing about coyotes, damn it, they're gonna find a way. But the question is, do coyotes deserve the hate? Again, you're That's what I'm saying. Okay, so, had you know, I'm doing a lot of listening. Okay. Because I like what's going on. Okay. But here's the thing, though. I don't know if I should hate them or like them. Because this, ah. this is this is awesome, bro. This is nature, bro. Yeah, I, I don't got no hate towards them. But obviously, you got to be cautious because they will murk probably your child or something. Oh, yeah. Or if you got a little chihuahua, that nigga get murk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like chihuahuas. So you can <laughs> Uh, they be biting my ankles, <laughs> mad annoying, bro. All up on me, like, get off me, bro. Different story. Yeah. Anyways, this is like fascinating, bro. Yeah. I'm not hating. Like, why are you hating on the animal? Or either bro? that, or if you have crops, they might f you. Crops. Oh yeah. So that probably be annoying. I okay, love. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's a coyote poop. But in their defense, because honestly, someone has to. Coyotes don't usually see dogs as prey. Usually. The damn. And as afraid of them as some people are, coyotes have been responsible for human obituaries twice, ever. Once in California, once in Canada. Huh? Squirrels and deer empty way more seats at family reunions, yet no one's out here declaring war on them. Also, there's a lot of myths surrounding coyotes. One of them is that they'll actively bait dogs to chase them so they can lead the dog into a pack of coyotes waiting to tear oh, them. Oh my god. It's not true. Really? And a lot like with wolves, coyotes are naturally afraid of people. It's when they start associating people with food that things can get bitey. Now, if you ask me how I feel about farmers flatlining coyotes to protect their livestock, I mean, what do you want them to do? I, like, I get it. But not to sound all PETA in the face about it, there's humane ways to do it. I literally watched a video of a guy setting his pit bull loose on a coyote and watching it slowly break its leg while the coyote cried in pain and all of this. Yeah, pit bulls. And that's where I'm pit like, are different. damn, reincarnation really something because Twain's still out here leaving his mark. I'm not asking you to like coyotes. I'm just saying anything with that much of a will to live and that little of a fire under a cautious kangaroo to give about anyone else, 
I mean, it, it, at some point, you gotta respect the game. Their entire existence is out of spite and a middle finger to everyone else. Well, I mean, man you, survived man. 70 years of disrespect and a second Space Jam. That, that's gotta count for something. <laughs> but anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, which you can probably tell I had a lot of fun with. Nah, for more so consistent hard. content, be sure to follow my TikTok and Instagram. I try to post daily on both. Aww. And if you would like to support this channel, my Patreon is also gonna be in the description. Yeah, everybody got a Patreon? Yeah, now we, we gotta get Patreon. Oh, God! Oh, oh, wait, we couldn't do that. We're like... Certain reactions that oh, yeah. have uh, copyrighted content. The book's called A Hundred Animals That Can Effing End You. <laughs> and I think the title kind of speaks for well, itself. The link's also yeah. gonna be We watch like top that, 10 animals water. or something. For real, yeah. that stuff's important. Hug your mother. She's not gonna be here forever. Respect coyotes. Yes. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Yeah. And I'll hopefully see y'all in the next one. Awesome. Oh, no. Why the fuck are you doing that? all that for you? Yeah, like, bro, shut it down, boy. Oh, what about that? Shut up! Yeah. At the end of the day, I just feel like, you know, that's just nature doing its thing. Yeah. So it's like, why are you hating? Like, they I gotta mean, survive. They gotta, yeah, they gotta you know, do what they gotta do, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you gotta be cautious. But can be cautious, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's... That's obvious, right? Yeah, I feel like with anything, especially me, like if it's not a dog or a cat, like if it's not something that I know mm -hmm. it's not going to do anything, mm -hmm. obviously, you, you know, be cautious. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Anyway, man, if y'all like if you like this, you can't like if you not like it all, you get pissed fuck up, you know what I'm saying? If any man can do it, but there's a coyote right there. Oh, that three. Like I kind of like the coyote. I kind of like that too. But you yeah. know what I don't like? These haters. Fuck off! How you hating, bro? You know what I'm saying? Bro, that was a lit oh, video. Bro. I'm not even going to lie. I felt very dummy as of lately. You always get that knowledge when you're watching that cat. Exactly. You know get some saying? knowledge in your life, boy. You know what I'm saying, boy? You know what I'm saying? Because you're a little dumb. What you doing you... in like that? Oh, yeah. I'm on your... That, yeah. This should be... What ear is this? I think it's your left ear. Now I'm in your right ear. Oh. And I'm going to kiss oh. you. Oh.